Also, Police Chief Brian Manley tells KXAN big changes are coming in the coming days. The Texas Department of Public Safety will retrain all 300 APD detectives to make sure they are properly labeling sexual assault cases. As KXAN's Phil Prazen reports, this comes after the DPS audited the department and found only a third were classified correctly according to national standards. 2018 has been a year the Austin Police Department has tried to get ahead of mistakes and mishaps in investigating sexual assault cases. Department leaders asked state police to audit them over accusations they were labeling sexual assault cases cleared when they should not have been. APD Police Chief Brian Manley received a preview of that audit Monday. We want to make sure that what we're doing is right. It's more important to, make, to, to get it right than to claim that you are right. So bringing in an outside entity allows us to have a different set of eyes. The Department of Public Safety reviewed 95 rape cases from last year. Some outliers, APD cleared 30 rape cases when they did not meet the national necessary criteria. And 15 of those 95 were classified as rape when they should not have been, according to those same national standards. What we want to be, first of all, is transparent. We want to put information out. That's why we're here today talking about what's, what's really a very preliminary report that I can't give a lot of context to. DPS will give the department details of the audit in the coming days. Chief Manley says they'll begin working on it themselves. Every case is going to be reviewed. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. The new training will begin in a week and a half. Then all exceptionally cleared cases will be reviewed until February 8th. In April of this year, APD cleared its backlog of rape kits that at one time was in the thousands. <clears throat> Excuse me, the department was helped by a nearly $200,000 federal grant. APD brought in five new employees and contracted out to other labs to move these rape cases along. Austin Police closed its lab following an audit in 2016 when it discovered that thousands of samples were contaminated.